I went ahead and created a folder for your assignment, which is going to be up and down the staircase to the, uh, to the basement on threes. Uh, so I'm just going to enter the studio. It's going to be slightly different for you. Once I finish recording the studio, I'll show you the final product. So I'm going to go in there. I'm going to click on music and I'm going to add a new track. I'm going to click on uh, voice microphone. I'm going to start recording. I don't have headphones right now, so it's going to ask me uh, about the headphones. I'm going to say no, and it's going to turn off sound that way, which is a good idea. Right? I'm not using headphones. And OK. It's going to give me a countdown, and I'm ready to go. One and a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, four and play. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, rename that. I'm going to click over here in these three dots and uh, rename. And it's going to be up, down on threes. Melody. Okay, and uh, yeah, then I will unclick that. I'm going to save. This is really important, guys. I'm going to exit the studio and it is done. And here is my work. And as you can see, it's a fairly straightforward process. Just get in, make sure that your microphone level is set up at the proper volume and that you can follow this. Then you're going to go in and uh, record your part, make sure that you rename it. Uh, you can say your name before I start the counting. That makes it easier. Uh, also rename it and put your name on there. Uh, that way it's also easier to track. Uh, you will also have the extra extra step of downloading the your, your file. You can download both my part and your part. Some of you have done that. And that really makes it easy when it comes to you know hearing that you're accompanying this part. You will also find a slower recording on this. Uh, just make sure that you choose which uh, version you want to accompany and uh, mute the one that you don't want to uh, accompany.